Hey everybody, Josh coming to you once again with another Barefoot Shoe Review. Before we jump into the review, if you would, hit like, hit subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you catch my videos when they come out and get them while they're hot, all right? Besides the like, subscribe, and notification bell, you're gonna wanna follow me on Instagram at Barefoot Shoe Josh. Barefoot Shoe Josh. That way, because there I do more detailed reviews than what I do here on these videos and you get more information there. Plus you get cool pictures of the shoes. You see them from different angles maybe than what I show them on the video. You get cool pictures of barefoot shoes on your Instagram feed. All right, so follow me on Instagram, Barefoot Shoe Josh. Let's jump into the review. Today, I've been excited to try a shoe like this for quite some time now. Bum, bum, bum. Field Grounds is the brand. Which model is it? Why am I excited for these? Because if you're like me, you are a little on the, let's call it efficient. You're on the efficient side, not lazy. We'll call it efficient. <laughs> you don't like tying and untying and tying and untying your shoes. You know, I've reviewed other shoes that are like slip-ons. I've reviewed some field grounds, drop tops, slip-ons. I love those things. I still rock them to this day. Uh, but this is another style of shoe that eliminates that tying and untying nonsense. Now, I have an Asian wife, so we do Asian style in the house as far as shoes goes. That means we walk in the door, the shoes come off. We go to get out the door, the shoes come on. So it's on and off and on and off all day. I'm going in and out, shoes on, shoes off. Who wants to sit down 20 times a day tying and untying shoes? Not me. So uh, this this solves that problem. Okay, we're going to pull these out of the box. This is called the, um, the Feel Grounds Snap is the name of the model. And here we go. I'm pulling it out of the box. And what do we got? Hook and loop closures, AKA the name brand Velcro, which, you know, Field Grounds doesn't have quote unquote the name brand, it's hook and loop closure. Velcro closures from when you were a kid, right? Um, you know, it's not that easy to find a men's, adult men's pair of shoes with Velcro closures, or hook and loop closures, right? My, my wife has a pair uh, of, of hook and loop closures. My kids have hook and loop closures. I've been wanting a pair, so I'm glad they came out with these because look at the style. Super cool, casual, sporty. Uh, kind of athletic look, uh, you know, rock these with jeans, rock these with shorts, whatever you got going on. And these are going to work style wise. They come in six different colors. They're unisex. So there's men's, you know, men or women wear the exact same model of shoe. You just look at the size and it'll be like, you know, women's eight slash men's 10, whatever. Boom. That's your size. And it works for both sexes. And they have uh, black, they have white, they have some sweet red ones that are red uppers and red soles. Um, they have gum soles on a couple models. So anyway, about six different colors to choose from uh, to match whatever it is you're looking to do with your wardrobe. But check it out. Styling. Of course, like all the field ground shoes, they meet all the basic barefoot shoe requirements. Zero drop from heel to toe. Perfectly flat surface. No arch supports. They have an anatomic foot shape. You see that? A shoe shaped like a human foot. Imagine that. And here's what it looks like from the bottom with the sole. Uh, it's a decent width. I just did a video on the widest barefoot shoe brands. Field Grounds made the cut. They were toward the uh, kind of medium end of uh, the barefoot shoe spectrum. So there are narrower ones. There are wider ones. Field Grounds sits right about in the middle of the barefoot shoe spectrum, but they did make the widest uh, top 10 companies. Check that video out if you're, you're a wide foot person like me. Um, even with me being at the wider end of, of feet, I can still fit into these guys. I haven't tried them on yet, but I know from my other field grounds and these are the same soles. So I already know going in, they're going to fit, but I'll give you more details on that later in the video. I am going to put them on my feet, show you what they look like rather than just standing here holding them and turning them around. Okay. So stay tuned for that. If you want to see what they look like on the feet, here's some details. Okay. They, they're made from a vegan polyurethane leather. So a vegan leather upper. Um, this, the, uh, lining is called Lyocell. It's made from eucalyptus, which is cool and super eco-friendly. And the soles are nice and thin on the, oh, I started to go in the, to, to the, um, uh, barefoot shoe value. So zero drop, uh, no arch supports, anatomic foot shape. The last thing is flexibility. And I, I got to that because of these soles. Check them out. I mean, like all the field ground sh shoes, look at that. I mean, really nice and flexible. And uh, look, you can just bend them in half. You can twist them. Uh, I mean, there's my twisty test, uh, hot dog bun test, any test you want. Here's the wave test. A lot of the, the viewers seem to like, oh, the wave test. <laughs> these definitely pull off the wave test. So your feet are going to be able to do whatever you want your feet to do on these. Um, nice and loose, flexible. They're super lightweight. On a men's size 10, they're only 8.6 ounces per shoe. Um, that's pretty light, light, lightweight for a full shoe, not a sandal we're talking about. Uh, okay, what else can I tell you? They're water repellent. That's what one thing I like about them. A lot of my shoes are canvas, they're mesh, 
They're different stuff. The water hits them. My feet are going to end up getting wet. These guys, at least the water will roll off like a duck's back. They're not waterproof. Obviously, you walk through a, a pond and, and the water is going to seep right in there and get your socks all soggy. Who wants that? But they are water repellent. I need a pair of shoes I can wear out in a light rain and, and just the water runs out and my feet aren't going to end up soaked. These are the, these are the ones. Okay. Uh, what else am I forgetting? They're not machine washable. And one thing I've noticed, a detail that I noticed on their website, uh, on Field Grounds' website, perusing it today, is they've added this little uh, kind of caveat on all of their shoes except the boots. And it says, not suitable for activities that cause a lot of friction to the sole, as it may damage the soft soles. Now, that's why what reminded me to show you that flexibility, how flexible they are. They are really soft. So you got to give and take with that, right? You enjoy a great ground feel. I mean, you're going to feel everything in this. Stay in touch with your environment. Get a lot of environmental feedback to your feet, which your feet love. And uh, But, uh, you know, along with that flexibility comes some degree of softness. And uh, my very first pair of field grounds, drop top mesh, I have two pairs of them. <laughs> but my very first one, I wore out the soles on those things after time. And I walk miles a day on pavement and that just wore them out. So if, if you're going to wear these, it's going to be, you know, ideally for like, you know, trips here and there, go to the store, you know, run errands, that kind of thing. Or you work in an indoor environment with carpet or obviously that's going to be ideal. They're going to last forever and look sweet. Uh, but yeah, they're not for rough wear. These aren't hiking shoes. These aren't uh, necessarily going to be your basketball shoes where you're like, eh, 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 or parkour or anything where you're being hard or rough on your shoes. So take it easy on these. Treat them nice. They'll treat you nice. They'll be comfy, flexible. They look gorgeous and, uh, you know, convenient, fast, efficient uh, with the hook and loop closure. Check out the sole. It's a, it's a mild grippiness. Uh, just beautiful looking. So I'm going to try them on my feet. You can check that out. Oh, the price is important, right? $119. $119. Use my link down below, though, and you're going to save some money, okay? Um, I think. <laughs> Look for the details in the video description. Um, there's a link that you can use. And whether you save money or not, hey, if, if you would do me a favor, use my link. That helps me out. If anything in this video was helpful to you, hook a brother up, all right? Uh, but you might also get a discount as well. The details are down below. Okay, so check that out. Now you're going to check them out on my feet, and I may or may not uh, add on the end a review after I've been able to, to walk around the neighborhood with them on or anything like that. Okay, so stay tuned and see what else you get.